Hi guys, my name's Ollie, and I'm here with Sean and Abby today, and uh, we're going to be taking you through a high intensity workout, including the warm up. Um, so the way the class will run is that we're going to do the warm up, get our bodies nice and pliable, nice and uh, get the cardio kicked in, and then we're going to do the high intensity um, section. It's going to be a good workout today. Okay, are we ready to start? Yep. Perfect. We'll get our timer going. Taking our positions on the mat then guys, we'll get our bodies nice and warm to begin with. And we're going to come up nice and high on the toes, bringing those arms up so your biceps are just brushing your ears. Good. This is a nice gradual warm up. We're not going to rush into it. It's all about the quality of the movement, not the quantity. You'll be able to feel the activation in the calf muscle, in our shoulder, our deltoid muscles, we're bringing these arms up past our ears. Good, keep that going. Just stay nice and relaxed, nice and loose. And the whole point of this is just to get some activation through our body in preparation for that high intensity workout that's to come. Good, just a couple more then. Reaching nice and high, lengthening out that body. Last one. Good, shaking out then. So we're going to start jogging on the spot and we're going to kick start that cardio, get that heart rate up, get that blood flowing, keep the upper body nice and loose, you can shake those arms out and you'll be able to hear there's very little impact noise from us, we're letting our muscles take the impact, not our ligaments, not our joints, we're going to just compress every time our feet land, good, keep that going, again staying nice and relaxed, my body's nice and relaxed. Nice and loose, nice and fluid. And I'm breathing all the time. Yeah, and let's start bringing our heels up to our glutes, up to your bum. You can just tag your heels with your hands. Again, don't forget to breathe. Nice work, guys. Nice, and we're going to switch that high knees now, bringing them up to waist height if we can. You can put your hands out to make sure your knees are touching those hands as they come up. And again, nice soft impact landing. Good. Stay nice and relaxed. Good, a few more seconds. Beautiful, and back to normal jogging. Good, and shake it off, shake those arms off. Good, and stand still, shake those legs out as well. Good, and we'll start doing some lower body. So we're gonna keep bring our feet shoulder width apart here. You can turn the toes out slightly. We're gonna drop into our nice basic squat. Back straight, feet flat on the floor. The weights through the heels. Just repeat the movement. Good, again, this is just our warm-up, remember. It's about the quality of the movement. Don't do it too fast. Nice and slow, nice and methodical. Getting some activation in the quads, in the glutes, in the hamstrings as we come up and down here. Good work. And by now, we should feel our bodies becoming warmer, more pliable. Our joints will become nicely lubricated, all in preparation for that main workout. Yeah, just a few more then. Don't forget to keep breathing. Good work, guys. Last one. Good, and shaking that off then. Well done. So, we're going to do some lunges. So, keeping our feet facing forward as they're on train tracks. We're going to step out, drop that rear knee down, and back up and alternate the legs. Here we go. It's important that that front knee isn't extending beyond the front of the toes. Again, look, our backs are nice and straight. Chin parallel to the floor. If you just look straight forward, you'll be fine. And again, this is just our warm-up, remember. So it's a nice, methodical, clean movement. Don't forget to breathe. Keeping that body nice and relaxed. You'll really be able to feel some activation in the quads, these front muscles at the top of the leg, 
with these lunges here. Good work. Last couple then. Good. And as we come down now, for our left, leg, left leg's down, I'm going to rotate to the side. Back up, if my right leg goes down, I'm going to rotate to the right. We'll get some rotation through the spine. Super important. You might feel some clicks here, some clicks as we're doing that. Good. A couple more of these. Good, nice. And coming up to the top, shaking that off then. And just our last warm-up exercise. We're going to stand nice and tall, reaching up. I'm going to bend forward, legs nice and straight, touching the floor with the hands, walk them out to the press-up position. And now perform a couple of press-ups, get some activation in the pecs, walk the hands back in, back to that nice, tall, lengthy body, reaching up to the ceiling and repeat. Good, try and keep those legs straight. If you need to bend the knees slightly, that's fine. You should feel some stretch down the hamstrings, down the calf through the back of the leg. Good work, guys. Keep that going. By now, hopefully you might have some sweat on the brow. Certainly our cardio systems have been kicked in. Got the blood flowing nicely around the body. Been much warmer. All in preparation for that main workout, which is coming up shortly. Last one then, guys. Good. And shaking that off at the top there. Okay, so the warm-up's complete. We should be feeling nice and uh, loosened out, guys, hopefully. Perfect. Nice and warm cardio's kicked in. Blood's flowing around our body, so we're ready for that high-intensity section. What I'm going to do now is, whilst you just grab a sip of water, I'm going to go through the five exercises that we'll be doing uh, two times through. Okay, so just watching, and I will go through exactly what we're doing. We're going to start off with the squat, a movement that we did in the warm-up. So again, feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, back straight. I'm just going to come down, see my weights through the heels, and back up. That's the first exercise. It's going to be our squat. Okay, exercise number two is going to be our lunge. Again, we did this in the warm-up. So feet on the train tracks here, facing forward, stepping out, dropping that rear knee directly down, hovering it just an inch off the floor, and alternate the legs. This is going to be exercise number two. Again, my back's nice and straight. Perfect. Exercise number three, we're going to come down into our prone position, a press-up position here. Hands directly below the shoulders. Okay, I'm going to squeeze my abs, keep the belly button in. Coming down, chest down, exhale on the way up. Basic press-up movement. Okay. We'll do a variation of the push-up. If you need to put your knees down, that's absolutely fine. Again, the top half will be exactly the same, so your hands below the shoulders. But if you feel like you want to put your knees down at any point, it just takes a little bit of the weight off, makes it slightly easier. You can just do it that way. Variation for those who struggle with the, the, uh, the main push up. Okay, and from there, exercise number four is going to be our mountain climbers. So again, into our prone press up position here. And we're just going to draw the knees into the chest, straight back out. Quite a cardio intensive exercise, this one. Exercise number four, and then number five is gonna be straight down into our plank. Nice neutral spine, squeezing the glutes, and holding it there, okay? We're gonna perform each exercise for 30 seconds, twice through. Let's take our position. Just gonna let the timer run to the correct place. Right, five seconds to go and we'll get started. So we're squats, so it's gonna be exercise number one. Are we ready? And squat. Good work, guys. So making sure those feet are shoulder width apart. You can have the toes slightly turned out. Good, yeah, my back's nice and straight. And the important thing is, is those weight is through the heels. And the feet are flat on the floor the whole time. Don't forget to breathe throughout the movement. Great work, guys. Five seconds to go. Good. Moving into our lunges then. Let's do it straight in. Nice, quick transitions. Don't want to waste any time. So stepping out, dropping that rear knee vertically down, making sure that that front knee doesn't extend beyond the toes. Very important. It's very bad form. It's quite common. 
you'll really be able to feel this in your quads. Five seconds to go guys, keep pushing. Here we go, last one then. Good, dropping into those press ups. Here we go. Don't forget to exhale on the way up. Five seconds to go guys. Last one then. Good, into those mountain climbers. Bringing those knees right into the chest. Utilizing that full range of motion. Good, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And again, your hands should be below the shoulders. 10 seconds to go. Final five now. Good, and dropping into that plank for the fifth and final exercise. Forearms flat down, sucking that core in. Good work, guys. Squeezing those glutes. Nice neutral spine. And again, don't forget to breathe. 15 seconds. We've got a 30 seconds break after this. Five seconds, guys, keep holding it there. Good, and release. Coming off our feet. We've got 30 seconds. Well done, guys, great work. We're going into round two after this. By now, hopefully, you've got some sweat on the brow, I know I do. And you'll be able to hear from us three. I'm breathing nice and heavy now. So we're covering that oxygen bed here. Sucking in that oxygen, we've got 10 seconds. Before we go into round two. Okay, taking our positions and giving it all we've got now. This is the final round. And let's go into those squats. Good work, guys. This is where we now want to push it. Keeping that back nice and straight, halfway. 15 seconds to go. We have to feel our legs screaming now. Beautiful, final five seconds. Keep pushing that. Feel the burn, that's what we want. Last one, perfect. And into those lunges. Stepping straight forward, dropping that rear knee down. You can keep your hands on your hips, or down by the side, whatever feels comfortable. Just making sure that front knee's not extending beyond the front of the toes. Very important. One of the most common mistakes seeing people doing lunges. Keep that form good. Okay, three seconds to go. Brilliant, dropping into those press ups then. Straight down, now quick transitions. Hands below the shoulder, up and down. <sighs> Exhaling on the way up. <sighs> Halfway already. Keep going guys. Don't forget you want to put your knees down. That's fine. Five seconds. Last one then. Beautiful. Into these mountain climbers. Here we go. So very much a similar position to the press ups. Hands below the shoulders. This is our prone position, as opposed to supine where we do the sit ups. Keep breathing. Halfway already. My arms are burning now. Five seconds to go. Good, and dropping into our plank. This is our last 30 seconds, guys. Squeezing that core in. Don't forget to breathe, well done, guys. I can hear my two participants breathing hard. That's what I like to see. Final 10 seconds now. Squeezing that core. Don't give up. Three, two, one, and relax. Great, coming up to our feet, guys. Fantastic workout, I hope you enjoyed it. That's just a taster of what we do in the live classes. Come and join one in soon. Look forward to seeing you there. <sighs> <sighs>